everyone, welcome to the clubhouse, where we discover all kinds of things about our neighborhood and the world around us. I just got back from my friend Andrew's house, and as soon as I stepped inside, he asked me to take off my shoes. He said, uh, sorry dude, but house rules. I didn't mind because I got some nice new socks on, but really, if I'm his guest, and those are the rules, then I need to follow them or else he probably wouldn't want me to visit again. Do you have any rules that you have to follow in your house? Like no computer games until you finished your homework or lights out by nine? What happens if you don't follow these rules? Hey, it's Plato! Hello, Plato. Plato, uh, what you got there? A deck of cards. Sure, I'll play a game of cards with you. It's perfect timing. Today, we are gonna be talking about rules and laws. And as we all know, when you play games, you gotta follow the rules. So stay tuned for this episode of Clubhouse Social Studies. Hello everybody, welcome back to the clubhouse. Plato and I are going to play a card game. All right, I'm ready when you are, Plato. Nope, don't have any fives. Uh, no tens either. No, I don't have any kings or jacks either. Yes, I do have a three. Wait a second. Those aren't the rules of the game. You ask once, that's it. No, it is not fun. When you play according to your own rules and I play the rules of the game, it's no longer fun. We can play again later if you decide you wanna play by the actual rules. Do you have favorite games that you play with friends and family? Think for a second what it'd be like if you're all playing a game and you're following one set of rules and then in the middle of the game, another player says, oh, I've changed the rules. Rules help us know what to do and to keep order. When we follow rules, it helps everyone get along and can also help keep us safe. Can you imagine having no rules at all in your house? The dog could run around and go to the bathroom everywhere. The fridge could be left open all day. Chores wouldn't get done and it'd be madness. Really, Plato, that's, that's normal on your planet. Huh, rules and laws have some things in common, but they're also different. Let's take a look. A rule is an expectation that people need to follow while they're at home or in public places like the supermarket, at a restaurant, or at a doctor's office. Who makes rules? Parents do. And so do teachers, coaches, business owners, and your friends do too. If a rule is broken, there is a result. This is called a consequence. For example, if you don't do your schoolwork, the consequence could be that you fall behind. If you come home later than you're supposed to, maybe the consequence is that you get grounded or you can't watch TV or play video games. Or if during a sport you kick a ball out of bounds or hit a foul ball, the consequence is that it doesn't count as a point. Those are the rules of the game. If you don't follow the rules of a game, other consequences could be that your friends don't wanna play with you anymore or your team doesn't make it to the playoffs. If you break the rule of no throwing a ball in the house, what do you think a consequence could be? Exactly, you just might break a window. Now, let's take a look at laws. A law, like a rule, is in place so people know what to do in certain situations and to help keep everyone safe. But laws are created by people in government and they're like rules for a community, rules for a larger group of people. It's a law in the United States that you have to be at least 18 years old to vote. Everyone in the country follows that law. 
There are laws about driving at a certain speed limit or wearing a seatbelt or a bike helmet. The government creates these types of laws to help keep everyone safe. It's also against the law to steal something that's not yours. It's against the law to hurt another person or do damage to someone else's property. What happens if someone breaks these laws? Yes, Plato, consequences. But instead of having to answer to a parent or teacher or a coach when you break a rule, breaking a law means you'll have to answer to a police officer or a judge. Consequences for breaking a law are usually much more serious than for breaking a rule. Someone who breaks the law doesn't get sent to bed without dinner. No, they get a much more serious punishment. They might have to go to jail or pay a lot of money in fines. Or they might get their driver's license taken away from them so they're not allowed to drive. When one person breaks a law, it can affect many other people too. There could be many consequences, such as people or animals getting hurt, or people losing money or things that are important to them. Now, there could be times when you forget and break a rule by mistake. Just try your best to follow the rules and laws of your community, and you can always ask an adult if you're not sure what they are. And remember, rules and laws are put in place to help everyone and keep them safe. And going back to rules while playing a game, it looks like Plato wants to try another round. Are you ready to follow the rules this time, Plato? <laughs> uh, no, not your rules, the rules that come with the game. If you don't follow the rules, do you know what the consequences are? Then I'm not gonna play with you anymore. <laughs> okay, let's try again. We'll see how this goes. I hope all of you enjoyed today's video about rules and laws. Be sure to check out the PDF that goes with this lesson because it has some really cool activities to help you understand today's topic even better. So long, everybody, and I'll see you next time for another episode of Clubhouse Social Studies. Do you have any two? Hey!